think you're done unless you don't want to be done. Unless I mean, we should else. take a couple questions from the audience. I you think, want to? I love these people. We should talk. Look, we're all here. We all probably have things on our mind, right? Can we take a couple? Oh, we can do it. It's your show. It's your day. You, you ain't got to leave till tomorrow, Anybody girl. have any questions? I just said girl. I don't know why. Sorry. <laughs> you choose. Because not enough of you voted. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. Because, you know, I, I got all, you know, all the way to the end. I got to perform every week. and. <laughs> I like you. Who, who did win that year? Chris Allen. Exactly. Have you heard his new song? It's really good. It's good. It's, it just came out. He's gonna, it's coming out. It's happening. It's good. It's really good. I like it. Right here. Right on. And I wanted to ask you, what's the hardest part about being a comedian? What's something that you wanted to do that you don't even know that people understand? Uh, it, just like the loopholes and the, the, all the loops you have to jump through. It's really complicated. Um, radio in particular is a little bit complicated. It's not so simple as, oh, my favorite artist has a song out. Why aren't you playing it? It's, there's lots of politics involved. There's lots of... It's, it's tricky. It's a really tricky thing. It, it's not as obvious and logical as you would think it is. It's, there's all sorts of things happening that influence what gets on the radio, what gets added, how many times it gets spun, you know, who, who like, what your demographic is. Like, there's all these things that I didn't know going into this either that I'm learning a lot about, and it's tricky. It's really tricky. Do you ever get pissed off? Occasionally. <laughs> but my version of pissed off is like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Let's take one from somebody in the back. Somebody in the back had their hand up earlier. <laughs> right there. Yeah, that was you. <laughs> what? I have no mascara on right now. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what kind do you use? <laughs> I'm not wearing any. There's no hair product on the stage either, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> There is hair product, for sure, yeah. What's your question? Yeah, I mean, movies would be fun. I, you know, right now I do want to focus on the music thing, but if something came up, that'd be cool. If someone wanted me to play a part, I'd... <laughs> you know, there'd be some boycott, I think, if I played Elvis. You don't want to do Elvis, he died on the toilet. I, you on know, hard I'd, wood. I'd want to play on historic wood. <laughs> I think I'd want to play like a character part, like something kind of unexpected and kind of out there, something weird. Maybe funny, yeah, maybe funny could be good. Or troubled. He'll be in a Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> what, what, what's your question? I'm trying out for the voice, but I Yay. You're trying out? Here's your first audition. Go. <laughs> Do you have your song picked out yet? Uh, I don't know. Um, we know who it is. <laughs> What's your two songs? Pick a song that's by a group or, or, or an artist that you are similar to. I think that the thing, pick a song that's by a group or an artist that you are similar to. Because in the music business, it's so like vision, like being. Seeing an artist and, and hearing their voice and then like, having an imagination for what they could do is difficult for a lot of people. Like you, They have to be able to immediately put you in a box and compare you and say, okay, he's country, he's rock, he's this or that. Like, It's very like black or white when, when music business people kind of first see you. So make it really easy for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a question over here? Yes, ma'am, you. A lot. Uh, I don't know. A lot. I mean, I, I li you know, now that, that I'm making pop music, like, I listen to a lot of pop music, you know, to hear what's going on and who's making what and what the trend is. And, you know, that's the trickiest thing about pop music is, like, having your own ideas and your own artistic integrity, but then kind of there's a little part of you that wants it to do well. So you want to hear what's working, you know? It's a mix of the two. I don't know. I like Bruno Mars a lot. He's great. Yeah. But my style is... A lot different than his, obviously, but he's, I just think he's so amazing as a singer and as a writer. Like, he's done his own thing. Yeah. 
Are you getting bored? Adam. What are you doing over there? Adam. <laughs> What's did happening? You, did you forget something? My fly has been down this entire time. <laughs> oh my God. 107.5 The River would like to apologize to the first three rows. Did you guys know? <laughs> I just got a little from the audience of, and I'm like, what? And, oh. <laughs> sitting here talking about Bruno Mars, like, yeah, he's really, why is everybody laughing? It's really Adam, talented, stop. We have a comment. It was all the hard wood, I, I, don't, I don't know. We have a comment from the back. <laughs> it was historic wood. I can't, what, the comment what? She said it was historic wood. Uh. Awkward. That joke, <laughs> that joke is not done yet, it's not old, yeah. no. Mm -mm. It just keeps going and going. Take control. I can't do Who's anything next? right now. Who's next? It's part of my job. Because <laughs> if someone asked me a question that I didn't like and I reacted and I got really like pissy and had an attitude, that would get all over the place and then all of a sudden it would be like Adam Lambert's a, a jerk, you know? It's part of the gig. It's part of the gig. You've well, been thank very you. patient. I appreciate that. Thank you. You've been very patient. It's not a tour. It's it's just like one, that one night at Sonosphere and then the warm-up gig in, in, in Russia. So, but maybe, who knows, maybe we'll be able to like do like a special night somewhere here. I don't know, but there's no plan. There hasn't even been talk of that, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> We got a Glambert in an Adam shirt back there against the wall. Your question? Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was a fun night. We had a good time. Thank you. Did it, did it feel weird doing Johnny Cash on the stage that Johnny Cash did Johnny Cash? No, it felt cool. I mean... There were, I remember when, when I did that song on Idol and there was like, I, heard, I overheard that there, there were some people that were like, oh, yeah, how he, dare he do that to a Johnny Cash song? He murdered it. But you know what? Johnny Cash was a rebel and he broke the rules and he got in trouble. So, yeah, yeah, why not? Brian, do you have a question? Yeah, I, well, thank you. I mean, yeah, it's just a, it's a song like, you know. Yeah, that's true. By the she way, just that's said haters from, make you famous. I like that. I need a shirt. That's coming from Brian Mansford from USA Today. So if you have oh, a cool. Supporter Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right. <laughs> do you want to do? Do you want to do? That's up to you. More questions? Yeah, let's do more. I mean, I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's. I, I tried to just be as honest as I possibly could, be, like when I was embodying both 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 versions. Um, you know, there's a part of me that's very like boy next door. That's very like, you know, happy with like you know normal things like writing notes down. You know, listening to music. I might have like normal kind of everyday activities. Like there's a part of me that just likes just chilling out and being happy, content, normal guy. You know, and there are times when yeah, and I'm wearing like knit and sweaters and. You know, like a white T-shirt. I'm not always like done. Um, and there's a part of me that 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 loves being in that state of mind, but it also can be a little bit boring sometimes. It's not as eventful. And then when when it was going over to the dark side, like yeah, I mean, we all have vices. We all have things that um, you know can take over sometimes. We all have things in our in our lives that um, we're not proud of or that are a little twisted. You know, and sometimes they manifest themselves physically and they actually happen, and sometimes they just are up in our heads. So what I wanted to do with that character is I wanted to do every like thought that I've ever had that's been kind of negative or self-deprecating or self-loathing, I wanted it to like become a reality in that scene, just to, like symbolize it. Thanks, I'm glad you liked it. We worked hard on it. We have it time a 20 for 20 hour more. shoot, it was crazy. Where at? Okay. Um, you know, having this last year off to do the album was like so great. 
I feel like I'm in like a totally new headspace because coming out, out of Idol, it was there was just so much hype and it was so crazy. And then we did the tour, the Idol tour, and then the album was being made at the same time. And then it was like, go promote your album. And it was like, I didn't have a minute to breathe. Um, and I was having a great time, but it makes you kind of like loopy, you know? So this year has been great to kind of like be with friends and family. My boyfriend grounds me. That's really great to have like to be in love and to have a little domestic, happy, easy, normal life at home. Uh, and then writing music is like very therapeutic. It's a great way to kind of like work through stuff and um, feel as an artist, feel like you're, you're, you're doing something useful. Because a, a lot of artists will agree, like when you're not actually creating, you feel crazy. So yeah. One more question. Aw. I feel it. I do feel it. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, I, pre I appreciate that. <laughs> I <know>. All right. <laughs> what did he have for breakfast? Someone probably knows. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Adam, thank you so much for thank hanging out with us. Thank you. Give it up for Adam Lambert. Thank you. Thank you.